Take a look at a lot of the crypto activity in this episode. Could this be our last downward spiral? Encourage the use of Bitcoin before it is transported to the moon or consider this instead. When Bitcoin drops, all other coins rise, and when there is another rotation, we'll investigate Ethereum and whales dumping. Often we're examining the cost of XP, what's going on with market volatility, which we're going to near the end of this video, are bricks. There are a lot of recent advancements in the brick and mortar industry, and many of them point toward the Bitcoin realm. People, without further ado, unwind. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin, 62.519. It has decreased by 2.26% during the last 24 hours, 24 hours. Ethereum is currently at 2634, down 4.1%, down 1%, down 1.52%, with UDC also hitting their dollar pegs. However, when we examine all of these coins, the top 10 XRP, well, I suppose that's why Tron is included. The only explanation for the TRX pump is what may draft the second largest gainer over the last 90 days with Bitcoin, BNB, and Solar all flashing red, along with Doge. As you may know, Justin Sun essentially copied Solana's work on their meme coin coins and created a platform for it. So now you're getting all these TRX. The next big thing is going to be meme currency. But we had puppies and cats on Salas. Perhaps we'll have tigers and elephants on TRX. People ask, where are we going to go from the total cryptocurrency market cap of $2 billion, $203 million? Because I honestly don't know. It's possible that Bitcoin will drop to the mid-50s from here. As that happens, some of these adults may start to rise. For example, Solana may reach $200. After that, it's possible that the alt will reverse and money will start to leave and enter Bitcoin. Things that we will be focusing on in this instance, people, this is definitely something we will be keeping an eye on. If you believe you have a bet as a cryptocurrency holder, you might end up like one of these impoverished individuals right now. At Six Flags, they were caught in midair. Mexico was a result of a storm that exposed him to wind and rain. I'm not sure about you, but I would go crazy. I feel like a sellout is happening right now on Telegram, which is being investigated in India, but the ban is absurd. I'm not going to read this with Telegram. News item to you. I believe that everyone is aware of the current state of Telegram and the creator. This is the most bizarre aspect of the Rumble. Yesterday, the man behind Rumble, the CEO, came out and he really ran away, saying, I'm going to fight this thing to the death. I will fight for liberty. I will fight for everyone to have their own voice. He ran away. He's moving. He won't try to get arrested, too. What the heck is going on? It appears as though they are attempting to sense these platforms out there. While you're sitting there, BlackRock added 4,000 Bitcoin ETF shares to the Strategic Global Bond Fund. You're reading all these posts on Twitter about how the Bitcoin bull run is finished, that 3,000 Black Rocks has bought all the big boys, and that you genuinely believe that the bit about the Bitcoin bull run is over. Do you honestly believe that the top is bought by the institutions from retail? If so, why do you think that? If that's what you think, please stop right now. Take it out. The establishments are, of course, we're going to go here. Now, but if you believe the institutions will, as they consistently do, outweak the retail industry and are entering the market at the ideal time, these markets go crazy before we see this march. That being said, I believe you should relax. It's best to unwind and take it lightly for the next six months. You won't even recognize these markets from now on, according to markets that claim BlackRock has been harassed. Graybit from BlackRock has been BlackRock and 22.4 billion in cryptocurrency holdings, Ethereum ETF holdings are up music. In June of that year, 33% reached 16,000 shares. People are completely crazy. 24 million ETH are sold by the Ethereum whale. What comes next for an Ethereum user dumped over 8,000 ETH worth over 24 million? I thought maybe I could accomplish it with 8,000 ETH, but then I thought maybe 4,000 ETH worth 12 million. Well, I'm not going to be grading, so I dumped it. I'm going to ditch it after investing my two weeks. I'm going to appreciate the stream that I've started. I'm going to do what I want to do in life, which includes taking a lot of naps. You go put it on Binance, where he lost, actually. He lost 4 million, but he didn't seem to care. According to the entity that previously bought the asset for 27.96 million on July 27th and August 3rd, before the previous considerations about market dips led you to the right place, well, it follows the same pattern repeatedly. People enter, sell, and markets decline. Individuals then enter, buy, and prices rise. I can assure you that cryptocurrency is a relatively simple endeavor. All you have to do is follow this straightforward formula. Sell green, purchase red. If you do so, you will succeed. This doesn't need to be made. Something perplexing, it states that as of August 27th, XRP's market performance displays notable price swings and macroeconomic trends that are symptomatic of larger system dynamics. XRP amplifies market volatility and futures. The cryptocurrency's price, which is currently trading at around 59 cents, has slightly decreased as it appears to be struggling to return to the resistance level of 66 cents. At this point, we have been talking about 65 and 66 cents for months. You are aware of the amounts and the keys we are searching for. XRP is written next to it. I saw lows of 58 cents and highs of about 599 cents. What comes next then? Basic local assistance costs about 55 cents for this. And then folks, as I've been saying, we're in a chop zone and we need to move over 66, which is a chop zone where we are all cutting. Yes, there is some green between 55 and 66. A small amount of eagerness is seen. 
and then we return. Individuals begin to kick and yell, look, we're going to chop in his range until 66 cents is broken as soon as they fall. That's all there is to it. And that's it. It will need a lot of credible to release this. He expressed his opinions about Bitcoin and said, look here, we are right. Right now at 626.63, he seems like we could use a small push-up demonstration, like we slightly decline in our current location. We are now pushing upward to break above 66, but after dropping much lower to 58, we observe yet another minor reversal before shooting back down to 53,000. It's currently being developed, it seems likely. This is 100% possible. So how do you prepare for well? It's really easy. If you're a buyer, your dollar cost average or DCA, there is nothing you need to do if you are not a buyer, because it is as easy as mine to buy. I will keep buying every Monday until the price of quant surpasses my DCA, which is, I assume, approximately 80, I believe we'll call it that. When quant exceeds 80, 85, call in the range of 80 to 85. I have purchased you. You already know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to begin serving as an immovable asset. Perhaps XLM is still low at that point. If it doesn't move, I'll go to HBAR. If it doesn't move, I'll go 800. Well, I'll be 900 at that time into XLM. I'll simply keep browsing and buying. I'll receive my best offers and any unsold items. You know, that is our revenue stream. And in six months, we're going to be laughing because we're DCA from now on. And Jay added the same thing. He says, look, this is what I'm looking for, as well as Bitcoin's complete decline. About 40, 50,000 insane people who believe that September, October and Southeast could be violent months. I truly don't think since I don't know that I don't have the future ball. The price of Bitcoin will fall below $50,000. Once more, I genuinely believe that it wasn't going to decrease. In fact, I believe that $50,000 was my figure. However, anything can happen. So we'll see. I won't sit here and tell you that this will never happen. Instead, I'll tell you that it has happened and that analysts are split 50-50-50. Nobody truly knows, including me. However, they only get things correctly half the time. That is, they will either be correct or incorrect. It's straightforward. There are no ifs or buts about it. Personally, I believe we fall that low. I don't think so especially as election season draws nearer. These markets will rise over time, but if you follow the strategy in the DCA, everything will work out perfectly. Bricks with Ripple's XRP, could it be that people in Brazil are funding two initiatives, PDX or Ledger Awards? We are aware that Ripple is actively working in Brazil. As far as we are aware, Travox is the first Russian bank to implement on-demand liquidity. They're preparing to add some spice. September is when they want to start testing cryptocurrency payments. The following month, India will make oil payments. Utilizing the XRP Lever China Shanghai Hero remittance in South Africa on the XRP ledger. Look, this place is rather busy. A great deal. It's clear that BRICS switching to an electronic platform. It's clear that SWIFT is changing course and moving to a new payment method that will use DLT. It's only a matter of time, that's for sure. It's also clear that Russia is beginning to go its way. From my perspective, everything is a concern of time as to whether they would create their own system and use XRP as a bridge asset, use the XRP ledger or use XRP ledger or use XRP in conjunction with the stablecoin.